Welcome to today's podcast, where we'll be diving deep into the concepts of halal and haram in Islam. These Arabic terms are often heard, but how well are they understood, especially in the Western world? Today, we'll unravel the intricacies of these principles, their origins, and their implications in the modern world. Let's start with the basics. Halal translates to permissible in Arabic, while haram means forbidden. These terms are used to categorize actions, foods, behaviors, and more, based on Islamic law or sharia. The primary sources for determining what's halal and haram are the Quran, Islam's holy book, and the Hadith, the sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad. These texts provide guidelines that help Muslims navigate their daily lives in accordance with their faith. Halal Food and Dietary Laws One of the most common associations with the term halal in the West is food. Halal dietary laws dictate what Muslims can and cannot consume. For instance, pork is haram, while meat from animals slaughtered in the name of God is considered halal. Financial Transactions and Ethics Beyond food, these principles extend to areas like finance. For example, charging interest is considered haram, leading to the development of Islamic banking systems that comply with these ethical guidelines. Rest code and personal behavior. Halal and haram also influence personal behavior and dress code. For instance, modest dressing is encouraged and consuming alcohol is prohibited. Halal certification and commercialization. A common misconception is that halal certification is merely a money-making scheme. In reality, it ensures that products meet strict religious standards, providing assurance to Muslim consumers. The perception of strictness some view the principles of halal and haram as overly strict or restrictive. However, for many Muslims, these guidelines offer clarity and a sense of purpose in their daily lives. Halal tourism and economy, the halal industry isn't just limited to food. There's a growing market for halal tourism, cosmetics, and fashion, reflecting the diverse needs of the global Muslim population. Bridging cultural gaps. As the world becomes more interconnected, understanding the concepts of halal and harem can foster mutual respect and bridge cultural gaps. It's not just about religious compliance, but celebrating the rich tapestry of global cultures. As we wrap up, it's essential to recognize that the principles of halal and harem are deeply rooted in Islamic teachings and have profound significance for millions of Muslims worldwide. By understanding and respecting these principles, we can promote a more inclusive and harmonious world. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey.